Hello and welcome back to Totally Abstracted. It's been a while since I've been behind this mic and honestly it's good to be back. Today I want to dive into something deeply personal and important, artistic self-care. Specifically how vital it is to take care of our mental, emotional and physical well-being to sustain long-term creativity. I've been on a bit of a journey myself these past few months and I think sharing my story might resonate with many of you who felt the same pressures and struggles. Back in March, I took on a new role at work. And let me tell you, it's been a whirlwind. I found myself constantly busy, working long hours. And by the time I got home, I was absolutely drained. I was too tired to paint, too tired to create. And when I did manage to muster up the energy, nothing went well. I felt like I was losing my touch. In desperation, I started experimenting with different mediums mixed media portraits, loose florals, even things that were way outside my comfort zone. I shared some of these experiments on Instagram, hoping for that familiar boost of validation. But the next day I delete them. I didn't like what I saw. It felt like I was grasping at straws, trying to find something that worked, but nothing clicked. My trusty oils and co-wax medium, they felt foreign to me. So I tried acrylics, pastels, pencils, anything to get that spark back, but it just wasn't happening. At some point I stopped. I began questioning everything. Maybe this art thing had run its course. Maybe I wasn't an artist anymore. But there was still this tiny persistent pull. I still submitted work to art competitions, exhibited in one, I'm long listed in another, I'm waiting to hear if I've made the shortlist. So clearly I hadn't fully let go even though it felt like I was on the edge. But while work was so demanding, I had no gas left in the tank for anything else. It was only after I began taking better care of myself that things started to change. I realised that I needed to get healthier, so I made some changes. I improved my diet, cut out alcohol, and started running a few times a week. As my body got stronger, so did my mind. I began to feel more capable of getting back to painting. But I knew I had to do it differently this time. I decided to start slower. No more getting up at 3am to paint. No more pushing myself to paint for hours on end, even though, I must admit, I've already broken that rule once or twice. And no more obsessively checking the likes on Instagram. Honestly, sometimes I think the things that surround art, the need for approval, the constant comparison, they're more exhausting than the art itself. I've come to understand that emotional and mental self-care is just as crucial as physical well-being. I needed to take a step back, give myself permission to rest and rediscover why I started painting in the first place. And now I'm back, slowly but surely, and I'm so glad to be here again. So for those of you listening who might be feeling burnt out or like your creativity has run dry, I want to share a few tips that help me and hopefully they'll help you too. First, take a break when you need it. This might seem counterintuitive, especially when you feel like you should be pushing through, but sometimes stepping away is exactly what you need to recharge. Second, reconnect with your body. Whether it's through exercise, like running, yoga, or just taking a walk, moving your body can help clear your mind and reset your creativity. Third, simplify your creative process. Don't pressure yourself to create a masterpiece every time you sit down. Experiment, play and allow yourself to make mistakes. Remember, it's okay to create just for the joy of it without worrying about the end result. Fourth, limit your exposure to social media. It's so easy to get caught up in the cycle of posting and checking for likes, but that can be draining. Set boundaries for yourself and try to focus on your own creative journey rather than seeking external validation. And finally, make time for other things you love, whether it's reading, spending time with loved ones, or pursuing other hobbies. Nurturing your whole self can help fuel your creativity in the long run. I hope these tips resonate with you. And if you're feeling burnt out, know that you're not alone. It's okay to step back, to take care of yourself, and to come back to your art when you're ready. I'm so glad to be back on this journey with you and I'm excited for what's to come.
Thank you for tuning in to Totally Abstracted. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave a review. It really helps the podcast grow. And remember, take care of yourself and your creativity will take care of you. Until next time, keep creating and take care. See you in the next episode.